After a long investigation revealed serious troubling issues today, the Department of Justice announced it has come to an agreement with the city on how to reform the Albuquerque Police Department. But those changes won't come cheap and you'll be paying for it. Target 7's Nancy Laughlin has more on what this all means for APD and you. It was a room packed with cameras, community activists, people who had family members involved in police shootings, and lots of police officers there too. This is a truly landmark and historic agreement for the for the people of Albuquerque. An agreement that means a major overhaul for the Albuquerque Police Department. The Justice Department came here two years ago after complaints of civil rights violations and more than 30 shootings involving police. Now APD will make sweeping fundamental changes, including use of force policies, internal affairs and supervision practices, interaction with the mentally ill, and how lapel cameras are used. Another big one, the repeat offender project or rope team is being abolished. A unit intended to serve investigative functions that had been allowed to become an unofficial tactical unit with special weapons. That unit was created more than 30 years ago to target repeat offenders with jails often serving as revolving doors. We will continue uh, with uh, making sure that those people who are the most violent, uh, that we have in place the right teams with the right training to, to address the repeat offenders. But all these new changes and the training and overtime that come with them aren't easy or cheap. City leaders say it could cost as much as $6 million a year. The mayor says the city will come up with the cash. We're a billion dollar operation at the city, so, you know, four to six million dollars is no small amount, but we think it's, it's perfectly manageable. Part of that price tag, hiring a monitor to keep an eye on APD and those new mandated changes. I'm proud to be the chief of the Albuquerque Police Department and have standing with me the men and women of the Albuquerque Police Department who are dedicated to serving you, our community, with integrity. Now, people on both sides say, say these negotiations were serious, candid, and aimed at problem solving. The agreement now will be signed by the mayor and U.S. attorney. After that, it goes to federal court and will become a legally binding deal.